me redneck, white trash, and blue collar. But I could change all that if I had a couple million dollars. Alrighty, guys. What is up? It's your boy, Matt. Uh, this video is in correspondence to the last video that you just watched. Probably yesterday. I'm sorry, the day before or whenever you watched it. But, your boy had to go to one of the places he doesn't like the most. The mall. I do not like it. One bit. I'd rather go to Walmart. Yeah, I went to the mall to return some stuff from Mother. Um, had a bunch of, uh, people staring at me because I'm wearing camo. I'm wearing a camo jacket. I do not know why. I guess it's because I do not fit in in the mall wearing camo. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today is foggy as all get out. That lady came out of nowhere. Scared the crud out of me. Um, yeah, so it's foggy as all get out. It's hard to see in front of you. As I stated in the last video. Um, I am uploading videos Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Hang on a second, guys. I'll let you go here a second. Hang on, give me a minute. Alright, so, sorry, I had a phone call I gotta take care of. Um, I, a lot of you guys have said that you liked this point of view or something like that, or I don't know, but I heard you guys liked it. Definitely got more views than I did last time with all my other videos of just watching me. But that's basically the point of my videos is to watch me and go along my event and be along the adventure, go along the along with me on an adventure. So I can't speak today. Words are fun. To go along, go on an adventure with me, you know. I still work for fun. Yeah. So I've been playing a lot of this game called Wordscapes. I don't know if you guys played it. I just now downloaded it yesterday because you know I was just trying to figure out something to do. Um, I'm still looking for a job or a job. Um, and it's uh. You know, I, I, I want to be a police officer, as you guys know, in, the, in a couple of videos ago. Um, I've wanted to be a police officer all my life. But, and I've got the motivation to do it. I just don't know that many people that they can interview so I can become a police officer. I mean, really. And it, it sucks because the, the people that they're going to interview, it can't be family. It has to be friends. But my family knows me better than my friends do. And my family's brutally honest. I'm telling you right now. My family is brutally honest. So, yeah, it's it's kind of a kind of a one-way street if you think about it, you know? Oh, I guess I could put my headlights on so people could see me. Yeah, it's kind of a one-way street. You know? I've said that like 13 times already. Passing by the Six Flags, you can't see it because that's where I, I, I used to work. I worked there for for, the, for about for about two years. Good job, dude! You got all the way up there. Now your tires are all muddy. Yeah, I, I worked at Six Flags for about a, two years. I loved it. And I decided, you know what? I want to change. I could have kept working there. I was a damn good employee. I was. I was a rides operator for two years. I loved the heck out of that. And um, I operated just about every roller coaster on that park, you know, ridden just about every roller coaster on that park. Loved it. Wish I was still doing it, but I didn't like the uniforms. I couldn't keep my beard. They wouldn't let me have a beard. But then. I started working at O'Reilly's out in Bernie. 
and that didn't go so well but they let me keep a beard um then I, I started working I worked at the O'Reilly's for about a year um I know my work life is all jacked up and um it's like and then I worked at I worked at a get this a dealership I ain't gonna tell you which kind yet because I don't want to spoil the spoil the surprise. But because of my country appearance, most of you guys think, oh well, he probably worked at Ford, he probably worked at Chevy, he probably worked at Dodge. No. I worked at Cavender Audi. You know, the luxury German cars. There's some nice cars, I'm telling you, I'll tell you what, man, there's some nice cars. I've driven R8s, I've driven Rolls, I've driven Maseratis, I've driven Jags, I've driven uh, Porsches, I've driven Ferraris, I've driven R8s, you name it. I've driven just about every freaking sports car you can imagine working in that lot for a year. And I was a porter, which means I had access to every single key on that lot. So if something went wrong, it was on me. And I was a, I wasn't a new car porter, but I was a used car porter. And all the like the luxury cars and stuff that we got in were used cars. Like a couple a couple R8s we got in were used cars. Um, one thing I did like about Audi is the R8, the R8 with the five six speed trans, manual transmission. Shit with the double clutch holy moly man that thing will grab i mean it, it is gone when you drive that thing it is ridiculous i mean i had i had fun driving it and i driven some random stuff too but yeah then i got they supposedly caught me stealing shit when i ain't ever stole anything from the work workplace in my life bullshit because they had no evidence but at that point in time at the dealership there was just so many problems and everything I was just like you know what? I'm done I can't do this anymore I'm done with all this nonsense yeah and that went that went smooth yeah so they pulled me in and accused me of stealing so I just said you know what I quit I'm done I can't do this anymore so yeah um I do hope you guys like this video. Um, I know it's a bit of a short one. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.